so if you want this is yasser elite and in today's video i have a top teams content about the retro cup the retro cup as you guys may know is a, a cup where like it was the first fun cup because the first fun themed cup because it was you no know, dark steel and fairy are not allowed to be used in this cup which means no top 10 almost pv poke and no broken pokemons because most likely steel and fairy are the broken ones dark is the, the annoying one it's a great league format so only 1500 pokemons will be used uh, the main pokemons in this lead the lead the top lead i well, i think the top leads were like stuff that either have close combat or like a debuff move or like they can beat those stuff so i remember the film last year like i mean Trevenant didn't exist back then but now it should be like the best lead zangus altaria comes after and snorlax is kind of a, a fine one so Trevenant, solid lead i believe it's the best one you can argue okay there is like so i split them into leads and counter the swaps what's counter the swaps it means like what's the best rps pokemon that has that that was being used when the opponent swaps and generalist generalists are like just good everywhere you can argue that revenant is a generalist but yeah it's a solid lead as well and counter the swaps uh obama snow was being used a lot last time uh lick uh, champ wasn't being used a lot because no one had enough xls to build this one also uh xl mid is just literally an XL version of Deoxys defense and Deoxys defense can do the same without being XL so if you don't have DD you can play MIDI if you don't have MIDI you can play DD Gofagrigus is a solid one uh, no one was using it last time because it didn't have Shadow Claw Reggie Ice is just energy you know and Jalicent has some solid play in this cup but maybe not the best so let's organize those based on what's the best one and to the second best so i believe i believe regirock was the best pokemon as a safe swap when the, this cup was around and coffee grigis medi yeah i think it's like should be like this coffee grigis medi and and this guy here obama snow are like the second best awak is meh it's meta pokemon but it's not the greatest because of the typing because you lose to all the ghosts you all lose to all the likely users so like shadow claw user used to all the normal pokemons most likely which is just the meta right uh jellicent is not the best ghost that's why it's here i think if you're gonna use jellicent you have to run bubble in this cup because it no you need the hex actually you do need the hex but to be honest i wouldn't use it i would rather use zangus licky tongue if i need the ghost damage or coffee Grigus or travenant Reggie Ice is just being a Reggie, a Pokemon that people don't have, and it's good because we don't have it, so we think it's the good. It's, it's a good one when opponent using it versus us. The Generalist, the Generalist, our Pokemon's are good everywhere. What is the best Generalist in this cup? It's Licky Tank, and nothing is even close. Why? Because there is no Dark that resists Lick, and there is almost most of the counter users are not the greatest. But Licky Tank can beat DD, Licky Tank can beat Medicham because it's a close matchup, right? So Licky Tank is the best Pokemon here. DD Frost Last comes after. You can argue that Walrein also as good. And those three are good generalists here down the list, but not as, as good as the other ones. Pachiriso, you know, if you have a Pachiriso maxed out from the Seno Cup, you can also use it here. Uh this thing Cresselia is always good and Greedent is the normal type that beats other normal types as long as it's not a bigger art. Moving into the anti meta so this is supposed to be like the best stuff that are, that exists in the meta so you can uh, what you can do is you can just get those build them in one team like oh Licky Tongue Trevenant Regirock Licky Tongue you can do Zangus pick one here pick one here you can just pick three generalists to be honest you can like you can pick one lead one swap one generalist or you can just go with two generalists and any of these any of these pokemon from this list 
but I will be talking about the top teams. Anti-meta Pokemons. What is anti-meta Pokemons? Pokemons that can beat stuff in the meta, but not everything. They don't have positive matchup versus everything. Licky Licky is just being like a normal type that can do normal type stuff with body slam, but not the best because there is Greedent and there is Licky Tongue, which is much better. But if you don't have that, you can learn this, you know? Ice cast form. Snowy cast form. It's a cast form that is spammy but doesn't have any coverage that's why it's not the greatest uh, munchlax again normal type that is not the top not in the top four so the top four let's say licky tongue greedent snorlax and vigoroth celio and ice type and why most of the stuff here are ice type why because ice type doesn't have a bad matchup in this cup so ice type when ice type is doing some super effective damage ice type can beat everything why because they have solid charge moves like game just love grass and ice like those two typings have the best charge moves in the game and most of them have good good moveset unlike other pokemons where like they lack the charge moves but like if you're ice if you're grass you can always have some decent charge moves uh celio and snorlax lapras sorry the same just an ice type that is bulky uh noctowl i mean noctowl was recently buffed it was good last time but i think this time there is like like noctowl beats most of like it beats the ghosts it beats shadow claw users it beats leaky tongue greedent it beats uh it beats its revenant the only problem that was around noctowl last time it was just a rock other than that it should be fine this is everything it should be meta by the way it should be meta uh kingdra so dragon type and dragons are solid here why because there is no fairy and dragon doesn't struggle but says ice because dragons just have the best fast moves in the game dragon breath and dragon tail literally the best shadow zapdos if you have one this is the time to use it dradegen good average let's say it lacks the box not the best dragon out there gyarados the best dragon and retro cup why because you take neutral from ice and if you have a shadow one, that's even better. Noctowl. Oh, we talked about Noctowl. Lantern. It's the Pokemon. A bulky water Pokemon with electric. So you do super effective to all the, the water, all the ice. You do fine versus most of this stuff. You can do well versus counter users. And I don't see a reason to not use it. It's a very anti-meta Pokemon. And it's I think it's the best in the list. Like, what's the best in this list? I think it's gonna be like this let's say this is tier 2 tier 2 this is this is okay so i think lantern is, is gonna be on, on top of this list the region is one of the worst you can do it you can i think it's this so those are the top the top anti-meta this is like the second tier you can argue that dugong is here yeah so lantern shadow gyarados noctowl lapras lapras can be can be said as meta to be honest it's like very bulky it doesn't need anything to beat most of the stuff in the meta but it struggles versus some stuff but to be honest i think it's it's a good lead I think it should be it should be meta. You know what? Let's just put it in the meta as a lead. Here. Okay. So moving into the announcement. So if you guys, as you might guys know, I am moving into full-time content creation. I will be doing a daily videos on youtube plus i will be streaming for six days out of seven every week and each stream will be at least three uh, three three hours so make sure to check my live stream at twitch.tv slash also i have a uh, i have a patreon account now to support youtube content because to be honest I'd like youtube doesn't make i don't make that much from youtube i barely make nothing because most of the stuff i make is i don't use monetization because it's not worth it one two uh to the top teams content like i spend around 10 to 15 hours every week on making one video of these so if you would like to support this type of content the top team content please 
support us via Patreon. So I would know that like there is some people that are interested. Not it's not just like oh I want to watch the top teams content. And if you support this type of content, I will make sure to have it on every season, on every league rotation. And yeah, that's the that's the announcement. If you would like to support this type of content, make sure to check the Patreon, the Patreon account at the below in the, in the description. Moving into the top teams in this cup, that the, the best team in this cup is easy to have an end to all in Lucky Thing. It's a solid team even in open. Like this team is solid in, 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 in open. The only reason was with this team, the only problem was Scrafty and Scrafty is not allowed in this cup. So there is nothing that can stop this team. Uh, moveset is literally the same. You don't need to change anything. And the best score breaker to this team is Licky Tongue itself because Licky Tongue can beat Wallerine, Licky Tongue destroy, uh, can beat Trevenant, doesn't destroy. It's literally a fine matchup. And Licky Tongue versus Licky Tongue is a funky matchup. So yeah, that th Licky Tongue is the best score breaker here. But yeah, this is the best team. Uh, but that's not my favorite. My favorite is, to be honest, Licky Tongue DD and frostlass this is my favorite team why because this team is kind of slow from licky tongue charge moves that do not do that much here we have frostlass as a closer i think frostlass is the best closer in this cup this team is very weak to travenant by the way so if you don't they, if they don't leave travenant you have to swap out to bait it out the, the thing about deoxys defense in this cup you need rock slide you don't need thunderbolt why uh, there is lots of flyers so throwing a super effective charge move versus the flyers with one list counter is very helpful that's one two you need it to beat uh, licky tongue in the one deoxys defense with thunderbolt only beat you licky tongue in the zero but if you have uh, if you have rock slide you can beat it in the zero and the one uh yeah so make sure to run rock slide in udd if you are playing retro cup moving into the next team i complain about meta aka by Nadic Boys. It's just a meme. He didn't make this team. <laughs> Trevenant, Wallerine, DD. This is also a very solid team. You have a Licky Tongue issue, but to be honest, there is not that big of a it's not that big of a deal. Because most of the stuff he like like Trevenant, yes, lose like does struggles versus Licky Tongue, but to be honest, it's, it's a fine matchup. Because you do so you do decent damage from the charge move, their charge move does nothing. Uh another team this cup i just named it just the three meta stuff it's a frost last dd and and ingredient ingredient is arguably are in the top two normal type in this cup you can say some people would say it's the best some people would say no it's the second best it's the second best because licky tongue is just more oppressive than this one uh, this team is basically just the three meta stuff with decent coverage so you struggle but says you struggle but says uh trevenant but it's fine matchup because frostlass doesn't have a problem in the two but says trevenant dd lose to trevenant very hard but the greedin just destroy trevenant because you have super effective crunch while licky tongue doesn't have any super effective charge move or neutral but says trevenant a budget team in this cup it's literally gonna be Frostlass, Greedent, Wallerine, in this order. It's an ABB team that is weak to counter the user in the back. Uh, a core breaker to this team, I think Zangus is the scariest one for this one, but Zangus dies to fast move damage. So it's not the greatest as long as if Zangus have a hard answer to your back line, it's going to be a tough matchup for this team. But uh, do people use Zangus? I think I think uh, Thought Tactical was using a team of Zangus last time, and that's all I can remember. But Zangus is fine actually. It's a spicy Pokemon that destroys some of the stuff that are in the meta because close combat, almost one shot, all the normal type. Uh, BBML not budget team. Not budget team means it's just a triple legendary. So yeah, you can use a triple legendary team in this cup. Uh, Zapdos. Regirock, Regirock arguably the best safe swap in this cup. Why? Because it has an it can throw a nuke move every 5.5 seconds and it doesn't have a bad matchup in this cup because most of the water are ice or like most of the water Pokemons have ice fast moves so you don't take fast move fast move damage. 
DD matchup, it's a fine matchup. You don't lose it that hard. It's just similar to DD versus uh, Registeel. A core breaker to this team is Gliscor. But yeah, this team has some decent play versus almost everything. You struggle versus Trevenant, kind of. But Zapdos, I don't think it does. Because it's always five for Zapdos to get to Drill Pick and Zapdos wants CMP versus uh, Trevenant. So yeah, with this team, it's just terrible legendaries. And there is so much of terrible teams in this cup. Why? Because the stuff, the general stuff that he is that breaks most of the codes are not allowed because most of them are dark fairy and and steel like for look for example this team triple normal was very popular without a gradient with a different normal of course uh it's just triple normal and there is not that many code breakers to this team like what's the code breaker to this team it's many champ many champ can barely beat licky tongue and they have to go down a shield to do that after that any of those two normals can actually any of those two normals can actually farm it down and then there is no issue. DD, I mean yeah, DD is fine, but DD takes super effective damage from most of the child from the child move here and here. A Licky Tank DD matchup is very close. Another team that was popular is Triple Ice. Yeah, Triple Ice, not just one or two, triple. So not Warlene, I think it was Lapras, but Warlene just replaced Lapras and the base the, the concept behind this team i think it was like this it's like aba weak to counter the user but to be honest obama's nose just was too good before the nerf to weather ball and you don't have a problem even versus the counter users uh, you can lead any of those three you can have any of them as a safe swap and no i think that the safe swap are either frostless or walling but if it's up to me i would leave frostless as a closer and safe swap the walling but most likely if it's a counter user you don't swap you stay in another team that was popular as well was a triple dragon yes triple dragon in an eye meta that's dominated by ice i mean not everyone was running triple ice people had only one ice and to be honest shadow gyarados is very fine versus the ice as long as it's not walling and you can chip with like if you have a shadow gyarados the dragon tail damage does so much damage and if you have a Kendra, which does takes neutral damage from ice, so doesn't have any problem versus the ice. And the third dragon, I think it should be like this. So Kendra with Gyarados plus any of those. You pick any of those dragons and then that's a triple dragon team. Another triple team, it's a team was that is popular from uh last time sorry it's a it's a popular team even in open which is the triple counter team but there is no obstagoon in this cup no obstagoon so we have to use a good replacement for obstagoon to be the shadow claw user so it's either surfage or prime ape because both have hit so hard on the counter and both have a dark move which is the night slash triple counter is a solid team here but trevenant is a huge issue so you kinda need the bigger art, but figure out is just get walled by Trevenant, so it's not fine. I, if it's up to me, I would use either Prime Ape or Surfetch with those two. I might even do this, like one of those with bigger art, and and this, like this. One of those with bigger art and with either one of those in the lead. Uh I think that's the last team. No, there is there is one more. I can't even count to five by Frosty. So Frosty is known for playing Licky, Nido, Scrafty, right? Nido, Licky, Scrafty. So the thing about him is that he... That he used oh, this team literally in every league, but there is no Scrafty in this cup. So he might have to find a replacement and the best replacement for Scrafty is Surfage. I think you have to use non shadow Nido Queen this time because you need you lack the bulk if you use shadow and Surfetch would appreciate if you have you can only shield Surfetch. So you have to use the non shadow Nido Queen. But uh, it's it's argu arguable here because some people say you need bite Nido Queen, some people say no, the poison jab is still fine. But you can literally go with both. If there is so many ghosts, then you have to do bite. If there's no ghosts, you have to do poison jab. 
Uh, the last team is the Copium Virgin by Poggy Gains. I know that he want to use this guy here, the big jacked muscle Pokemon. Uh, what about the rest, Yasser? I don't know. He changes team like five every five seconds because every time he loses, he just playing the team. So uh, I wouldn't scam you guys with a team that is built by Pokegains because Pokegains is just going to change it every five seconds. Every time he loses, which is most of the time, he's going to change the team. So uh, he's not going to change Golok. Why? Because he, there is a joke he made about the Golok. Make sure to check his live stream at twitch.tv. Pokegains with so many S's. Oh, why don't have his stream? Okay. Pokegains doesn't watch my YouTube video, so it's fine. Uh, an honorable mention here for some Pokemons that I didn't mention. I didn't build any team around. Most of them are Rock type. While Rock was solid anti meta type because lots of people were running two ice last time, or two flyers, or two dragons. And Rock does well versus everything. So, uh, Chestnut, I consider Chestnut as a Rock type because you have to run Smackdown. Mew was decent. A Deathloom was fine. L Luxray, this Pokemon is actually good, not the greatest, but it does lots of good good stuff. Articuno is fine, but it's not the best. Ice ah, Shadow Machamp. I know some people like Magic Mason would always appreciate to run to run a Machamp. And yeah, I think that's the best. That's everything about Retro Cup. A special thank to GoBattleLog.com, PB Poke, and YTX Pikachu, and that's the end of the video. If you uh, make sure to check. If you are, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you have any 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 question about this video, make sure to leave in the comment section below, and I will be glad to help. And make sure to check my uh, Twitter account at twittercom elite underscore yasser on my live stream at twitchtv elite And if you would like to support this type of content, please check my Patreon account. That's the end of the video, and see you in the next one. Peace.